Welcome to King Talks with Mimi. Now let's go ahead and jump into these reactions. Okay. Oh, don't laugh at me, friend. Welcome to King Talks with Mimi. Happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday, King Demonians. I have to think of what today is. Happy Saturday, y'all. Happy, happy Saturday. Thank y'all so, so, so much for joining the live. I appreciate y'all so much. Child, y'all know Saturdays is outside of our damn business hours over here in the kingdom. Hey, everyone joining the live. All my members and my moms. Felicia is here. Toya, Black Love 210. Renee. D Valencia. Amina is in the building. Capricorn Lady. Kalia Michelle. Denny is in the building. Dominique is here. Hey, Tiffany, Live Love La K. Peely, Paula Denise, Car Carlita is here. Tracy, Queen, Chelsea, Sharice, Southern Belle, Woman of Wealth, Brooklyn. Everybody joining the live. I appreciate it so, so, so much. Amina said, I'm chilling. My daughter's at the mall. I cut the house to myself. Good. Hey, Ezra's mom. Hey, cutie. And uh, Constance, thank y'all so much. Hey, Cole. Hey, Kay. Kay Moshe. Did I say it right? Hey, Miss Williams. Good. Y'all know that Saturday is good. We don't know. The king can be closed on damn Saturdays, right? But uh, yeah, I didn't talk to y'all yesterday, so I said, good, let me go ahead and then open up the damn doors to the kingdom over here, good, and we're going to see what we got going on. Um, And we got some stuff to discuss, which is why this live couldn't wait, good. We got some we got some things to talk about, baby. We're just going to let everybody come into the building. Y'all remember to like the live on your way in here, baby. The people love running over here, and they they, they bring their appetites because they eat all damn oxtails, but y'all... They leave their damn thumbs, right? Y'all, so, we're going to discuss some things tonight. Baby Denny Ma said, I hate that shirt, man. Good. We need to coin that damn slogan, right? Hey, Sonia. Um, Y'all, let me see what we're going to do first. Uh, Y'all know how we do, baby. We just be hanging out for the first few minutes, and then we go ahead. Hey, Brooklyn, I'm glad you caught the live, too. I hope you enjoy it. Y'all, welcome to all of my new uh, Kingdomonians. Thank you for subscribing to the kingdom, and I hope that y'all love it here, all my returning subs. Y'all, thanks for the love. The sub count is going up, 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 and I'm greatly appreciative for that. Ezra's mom said, play the damn Marshalls, girl. I got you. Let's go ahead and run the Marshalls then. Thank you, Ezra's mom. You at least gotta pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> Here, now grab the pole. Grab the pole. Yeah. Now pull Thank your you. leg up to the next step. Backpack, 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 backpack. Ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swollen, my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. Sure. Which other ones we got? Hold on. Gina. What, 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 put this foot first. Yeah. Gina. What, 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 put this foot first. Yeah. So, um, baby Toya over here spilling the tea. Uh, in case y'all didn't know, yesterday, um, if you aren't a part of members and you would like to join members, um, click the link in the, my bio, I believe. Um, yeah, because yesterday we went live on members, baby, because child, somebody got old nasty a uh, dating profile, baby. We didn't found that damn. Um, we'll mention it over here with everybody, baby. We didn't found out the damn Earl. Uh, I think Black Girl Magic, uh, Black, where is she at? Is she in him? Baby, she calls him Willie Earl, baby. We done found damn Willie Earl got a damn dating profile. Somebody found it and sent it to me. Y'all know y'all love sliding y'all asses in my damn DMs, right? Uh, Willie, Willie Earl got a damn dating profile. So we, baby, we went on over there, had a good old time, key kid, girl going through the damn charm. Whew. Girl, Willie Earl is back in the street. Child Willie Earl got his ass up here. It's a girl. This, when I tell you, baby, this, 
Baby, he was over there dressed like he was down 19. I said, oh, okay. Not you, not you looking for a woman of substance in your ripped, distressed jeans, your um, Louboutin sneakers, and your, um, what is that? Your your print tee or whatever kind of t-shirt that was. I said, oh, okay. That's cute. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, just let us know how that works out, and then we're not going to bother you. Baby Willie Earl said he's looking for someone that's not going to waste his time. He said he not miss me with the bush. He said, miss me with the bush. I said, oh, <laughs> Willie Earl said he look, he want a relationship. He, he want a relationship. I think he said, um, um, I've done it all. I'm tired of playing these games. I want to come home to you and only you. Because making love to just anyone ain't happening. I just want to be with you. Do you think about us finishing something we started so long ago? That's Willie Earl said. He said, I want to give you my all. I said, oh, well, baby, Willie Earl over here, this date profile, baby, going at it. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. Girl, when I tell you, <laughs> baby, Willie Earl said he ready to settle down. I said, oh, okay, that's cute. Child, we love Willie Earl a lot. I said, girl, just leave him over there, niece. Leave him over there. Um, and then also over there, we already, <laughs> girl, y'all is cut a mocha, but child, mocha diva. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good day, sir. Good. We tiptoed our ass up out of there. <laughs> Keita said, with a straight damn face. You hear me? With a straight damn face. Girl. Girl. Oh, girl, I grabbed my members. I said, let's go, y'all. Grab y'all shit and let's go. That Willie Earl over here down playing. He might be somebody down Papa over here talking about he, uh, he been thinking about settling down. What the hell you mean you been thinking about settling down? What's going on over the chunk? Midlife, it might be a midlife crisis. It might not be. I don't know. Everybody, but you know what? Everybody deserves love. We hope it really Earl. We hope you get what you need. Shout out to the damn King Demonius who said, girl, look what I done found. Look what I done seen. Huh? Y'all. Um, Ezra's mom said, did he mention anything about a delusion? Uh-uh. Not that, nor did he, hey, Nakia, nor did he mention any damn thing about a damn Ottman. So, we clear on that. So, y'all. Girl. I got some new commercials for y'all, baby. Y'all know Platt over there, baby. Platt. Um, they had told me about uh Platt uploaded a perfume, um, her top perfumes or the ones so far, uh, a damn 2020 that she's been enjoying. Uh, 2024. Let me see. Do I got the Marshall? Baby Platt got a damn Marshall over here. Good. Why well, don't think I got it? I think I gotta save it. Oh hell, I thought it was uploaded. Let me find the damn Marshall, y'all. Um, hold on, let me see. Y'all that are just now joining the live, y'all, please remember to like the live on your way in. I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let me go through it. Did y'all get a chance to watch um, Platt's Perfume? Yeah. Did y'all get a chance to? Girl. Damn, Platt. Um, let me save it. I thought it was already downloaded, but let's see. I'm going to meet y'all really, really quick, and I'll be right back.
Okay, y'all, we black, we black. Oh, child, we know that hell. Okay, y'all, we back, honey. So we got a new Marshall for y'all. Um, I had to move it over here to show y'all. Let me take this one down, baby. Baby, baby, since plat up here on the damn roster. Baby, you gotta be filthy, rich. You gotta spoil me. <laughs> baby, you gotta be filthy, rich. You gotta spoil me. Baby, you gotta be filthy, rich. You gotta spoil me. <laughs> We had to play the damn Platt Marshall because we finna talk about Platt. Baby, Platt said, baby, you gotta be filthy rich. You got Platt's not playing no damn games. You hear me? Platt's not playing any damn games. Somebody said, y'all still talking about Willie Earl. Willie Earl, is he a millionaire? I don't know. I don't know if Willie Earl is a millionaire, y'all. I have no damn idea if he's a millionaire. She said he was. We don't know, right? Girl, a lot don't care who tell it. Baby, Keita said, definitely be in a kingdom based on last vibe. Yeah, y'all, we're going to get into uh, Platinum D. She did some things. We're going to go over there to them. Um, we're going to go over to Peyton's channel, and then we're going to wrap it up with Gina Janine, of course, because I noticed who y'all came here to see. But first of all, we're going to start it off with um, Miss Platinum D. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with y'all. Good. And we're going to kind of jump around and move around a little bit. We're not going to play this vlog in its entirety, of course, because, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's just get it started. Chances, y'all, third, fourth, fifth, six, seventeen chances. But it wasn't that I didn't like them, they was just small and the throw wasn't there. But let me tell y'all, who is this? Big boy, big boy, hey, hey, hey. Okay, so y'all, this is Aromatic Star Anise. This is inspired by none other than Dior Sauvage. If you are 18 and younger, click out of this video right now because your lit auntie can cut up. And I, I could just be me. Y'all, Platt was cutting up this entire damn perfume um, review when vlog. I Platt was cutting the hell up. You hear me? Platt, this was one of the most, probably the most, entertaining damn uh perfume review that i've ever seen and i'm just speaking of me y'all probably seen some that are more entertaining and that's fine right this was the most entertaining one that i've damn seen toya said dior savard smells so good on the man toy i'm telling you something good we had bought all the damn all the damn um boys in the family in the immediate family damn the gift sets of dior savage um <laughs> girl Good. Not only that, they had got other gift sets as well, too. Babe, when I tell you, they be, the girls showering themselves in that stuff, it, it starts to smell like damn pepper spray after a damn um, while. But yes, girl, Dior Sauvage is a fan favorite and all it, girl, it smells very, very good. Baby, but back to what I was saying about Platt. Y'all, Platt, this was the most entertaining perfume vlog that I have, that I have seen ever, right? Definitely enjoyed it. And, um, baby, she was telling some stories. She was giving backstories on the perfume, girl. And I told y'all before that I've bought a couple of perfumes just based on, you know, Platt bigging up the perfumes. And, of course, they smell good. Of, of course, I bought at least two or three um, just off of, off of her word, right? But child, Black Love said, that's all I bought for my man, period. <laughs> period. Um, girl, Platt is... Plant is very entertaining over here, y'all. Let's. When I sniff this, I it's, it's like an aphrodisiac. I literally go to go mode. Girl. I literally feel warm inside. Ooh. I li I am not joking. This is this is so freaking good. Like, oh, this smells like. Girl, Platt is a girl. This smells like a big grown man with good credit, multiple businesses, take care of their business, always there for you, take you on trips, buy you stuff. Is Platt manifesting her next man? Hey, Kenya. Is Platt, Platt you over there manifesting? Sure. Let's move right along, y'all. Let's see what else we got. I'll give you this one. Psych. Okay, okay, okay. I'll buy you one. I ain't giving you mine. Ciao. Between me and my daughter, that, that's this is love. Don't be shy by Killian. The world fell in love with this because allegedly this is what Rihanna wear. It has this gorgeous marshmallow sweet scent Girl, to it. Let me tell you, this smells like artificial 
hollow down my arm they nestle their head into my neck Ooh. they just want to hug on me and i'd be like say, say my sight say <laughs> but no for real for real i'm dead serious you guys have seen Baby, it. i don't know what said that they girl she put that on and her damn milkshake brings everybody to the yard do you hear me not just all the boys it brings her milkshake brings all the people to the damn yard. Ezra's mom says she got the girls up and out. Take notes. OJ. Do you hear me? She really does. Um, there was another let's, girl. Platt is over here actually doing her thing and selling this perfume because I'm pretty sure I'm not the only viewer who has bought um, a perfume just off of Platt's word. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what it is. Uh, I guess I'm welcoming Ooh. or something, but Shana yeah. Platt said I'm welcoming. Girl, we see it. That or somebody is, in her comment said the things sitting pretty or whatever they said. I said, y'all know what? Y'all don't do it. One of my most complimented shower gel, the lotion, the shimmer, all the all that for me not to like. Girl, let's get first. to this. I want to talk this about is this right universal. Here. It is amber, it is saffron. Listen, we're just gonna talk about this one. But I did have herb repair on one night and went to a bar. And the man tried to take me home. I knew I had that fight I couldn't talk about because I was respecting my wife. Ooh. At the bar, I said, the ex tried to take me home. Maybe he tried to get me to come to the truck. What, what I look like to you? Girl, not come. Was you down at damn Ernesto's truck stop? Where was you at, Platt? What happened? Sure. You know, baby, you tried to get me to go to the bathroom at the bar. Not, I'm not that YouTuber. Platt, what you two would be going to the bar with the men's Platt? What you two? Platt, we want to know. We nosy. So anyway, Girl. yeah, mm -hmm. this is the new for. Oh, this smells good. Baby, when I yeah. tell y'all Platt is over here putting 20 on pump 10, Platt is so damn animated with these perfumes. She's actually selling the damn perfumes. This is actually what a influencers well, should be doing like she's candy. selling the perfumes platt even listed all of the damn in her bio she's listed all of the perfumes let's see oh should I, I mess something up she lists all the damn perfumes and everything down there in her um let me turn this off in her bio every perfume i don't know if it's in order of how she talks about them or whatever but she mentions all of them right Girl, I say, this is what you're supposed to do. This is how an influencer does it. Platt don't play about her brand and what she got going on. This is the type of Platt that I love to see, right? This is what I want to see. I don't want to hear nothing else. This is what I want to focus on when I come to Platt's channel. This right here. And I can definitely enjoy her content like this. Oh, it was in order. Baby, 10 pounds said, girl, Platt don't miss a damn beat. When I tell y'all Platt don't miss a beat, she's going to link Everything she's worn in the, whatever vlog she got down from the wig to the earrings to the makeup all the way down to the damn anklets if she's wearing anklets or the damn sandals. She never misses a beat with that. She is the perfect example, in my opinion, of a true influencer. And this is why I enjoy her content. And I'd rather just enjoy her content without all the extra dra uh, drama because, yeah, yeah, we, we need to not play with her over here and keep it about what it is. Girl, and baby, I know she didn't sold some of these, uh, sold out some of these people's perfume because, yeah, definitely. Angel Thomas said, I love that she's getting back to her. Yeah, I love to see it too. Definitely. I love to see it too. Exactly. And Tam Pal said, in order to, I was able to follow right along with her. It was great. Yeah, absolutely love. Yeah, she's a businesswoman, all the things. I love to see that about her, definitely. So if y'all have not caught, Platt's vlog. I'm not her vlog, her perfume review. Y'all, she gonna make y'all buy some perfume. She, 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 the way she over there selling it, baby, the face, she got the whole package, baby, down from the damn wig to the, the face is on point. The background is, is on. Girl, she got the, the outfit. Everything. She gonna make you want to buy some perfumes, especially the way she's over here selling it. And I love that for her. So y'all head over there and check out her, um, perfume uh video and girl purchase y'all something sure y'all tell plat bye because we gone from over there with plat plat will be back niece but we got other business to handle this okay <clears throat> y'all 
let's see what Lucinda says. She said Platt is a YouTube OG. She needs to get more views. It's a shame. I agree with you too. A lot of the older, the OG YouTubers, they aren't getting, it's like um, they're shadow banned or whatever. That's what Platt said. Like you got to type in their names to see if they uploaded anything. And then you be found out that you missed out on three or four vlogs or whatever. Girl, it's just a lot. Mom by said, bye Platt, baby. <laughs> yes, Paula, she don't gatekeep, baby. She going to tell you. She going to tell you what she got, where she got it from. At this price, it may not be this price, but this is where you get it from. We love that for Platt. Uh, Platt is up on the damn roster. We still got Platt. She's not sitting on the bench no more. She in the game. I put her in to damn jump up for the ball. Um, Y'all, who's next to bed? Let me see what we're going next. Everyone joining the live, please remember to like it on your way in. Y'all, I got a new Marsha for y'all. Um, Let me see if I'm going to put it up. Oh, y'all, no. Let's go over here. We're going to play the Marsha, but... We have to go over here and see what Peyton got going on, baby. Peyton says she got a man. Peyton says she's dating. Did y'all know y'all know uh Peyton out here dating? Sure. Peyton is out here dating. Y'all, let's pull let's pull up uh let me go to her Instagram really fast. Y'all, I'm not in my uh live um, I'm not in a chat right now, y'all. So Y'all be good. Let me see what her story got. I wanted to show y'all something, but it probably ain't even up in them. Um, hell no, it ain't up in them. So we're just going to keep it moving. Girl, Platt was over there making her good coin. We know Platt was on look like a damn business. I'm not Platt. I'm tripping. Peyton was on a whole business trip over there making her coin. Um, Girl. Let me pull her up. We're going to jump right into her. Let me see why I want to start off her vlog. Um, uh, we can start it right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with y'all. We're going to get off into it, y'all. Yeah, she went on a brand trip. That's what it was, Cherise. I seen it on um Instagram. I seen it on her story. Baby, she said she got her her makeup done. She had on Tom Ford Cosmetics, and she also took a picture with the uh, makeup artist. I said, "Ooh, okay." Let's see what she got going on, y'all. So the new year has started, and we have all of these goals. Baby, it's yours, all yours. This era like six day. It's going really good. I don't know if I share and um facial slimming and things like uh, side note y'all girl baby when i watch this damn vlog i said wait a minute i don't got these damn ice damn uh sticks over here baby i couldn't wait till she said that them damn ice globes i went right over there to damn amazon and purchased some once a damn Peyton said they got them on Amazon, girl. I went right over there and purchased some. They'll be here tomorrow. Thank you, Pepe. We appreciate that good. That's how you influence me. Now, let's continue, y'all. Things like that. But I use these because it's like good icing for swelling and inflammation. And I'm experiencing some swelling right now. And this kind of speeds up the healing process when I get... My lips done, and we just came oh, back TJ from Max getting has our nails done, and this is our design. I like this. I went for a brown color because I'm wearing brown. And um, y'all, she get Peyton gets some of the cutest. Um, now I don't like all of her nail designs, but she gets some really cute. Um like very not so trendy nail designs i've also i've um low-key mimicked a couple of her nail designs like i've been inspired to get like certain nail designs off the humbug of what she had um she i like how the way she does her nails how she you know she thinks outside the box it's not too trendy but it is a you know it's an eye catcher or whatever so i like i i'm always looking forward to see how she's gonna get her nails done and Yeah, I'm just feeling very chocolatey right now. And then, yeah, I had a date. This is our, like, sixth date. It's going Girl.
Uh, hey, Jamie, y'all, Pepe got a man. Well, she don't got a man. She's dating, baby. She said he done spunked the block, baby. This girl, not she just got a call back, baby. Some of the girls be like, oh, he called me back. I got a call back. Baby, he called her back six different times for a day. Oh, okay. It's going really good. I don't know if I share with y'all how I brought in the new year, but I basically brought in the new year the same way I brought in 2023. I lit a candle and I prayed. Last year, I brought the new year in with Cavern and we prayed, but this year she was downstairs and I just- uh, She brought the new year in with Kyron. Um, They brought the new year in together. They prayed and all of that. So let's just keep watching. So bringing in 2023, I had a lot of things- that I wanted to accomplish as far as goals. So that's what I prayed on, right? One of them was Karen moving back home with me. And I feel like I got everything I wanted. So this year, I really wanted to focus more on, um, you know, praying over my businesses that I started in December last year, at the end of the year last year, and love. And so- Girl, she said, in love. I went to God and I and I didn't have a list, y'all. I didn't have like boxes he had to check. Okay. I literally asked God to send me my mate, send me my match, like a person who matches my soul. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Peyton said that she manifested and her man. The very next day, I went on a date. But and Uncle Wine said, put the man in manifest. Okay. It's consistent. He shows effort. Okay. I mean, y'all know what I had been experiencing previously from just me, you know, sharing small details in my vlogs. Um, Baby, Peyton, uh, Peyton says uh, uh, sharing small details with y'all because I know how y'all nosy asses could get. So I be over here talking and telling y'all, but I, I'll be telling y'all like that. I just be over here sharing very, very small details with y'all. Sure. Baby, she know the YouTube screets get nosy as hell, right? The person that I was dating previously, and he is the complete opposite, y'all. Like, the complete opposite. And I'm just, I'm smitten right now. I'm very smitten. Um, so, yeah, we went on a nail date earlier, and then we went and got lunch. And we've literally been, you know. Uh, thanks a lot, Peyton. I don't even know why I brought my ass over here to Payton Channel. Payton said that they went on a nail date and they went to get lunch. Okay. That's cute. I love, I absolutely love the fact that she didn't include that as part of her content. Y'all, <laughs> I love the I love the girls who could uh be influencers without having to put all that extra shit in there, right? Like you already tea by yourself you ain't got to put a man in it to add nothing you already just, we just know you we just know you dating you ain't got to put a put a ninja in the camera or show his elbow arm or cut off his face or pixelate his face or you ain't got you don't even have to do nothing he don't got to be in the vlog at all because you already tea by yourself you got enough going on you ain't you don't need to add that's not what you need to do the, I love that for Peyton because she is definitely one of the girls. She understands her worth. She knows she don't got to add. She don't need a damn co-host, a co-star, any of that going on. Just her by herself is enough. And definitely, like Queen Chelsea said, live in the moment. Yeah, live in the moment, good, if it's good. And whenever you get ready to get a tea, give the girl, give the tea, depending on what it is. Because, girl, we had to tell Platt, Platt. Move back. We don't want to hear nothing else about what you got going on over there. Your marriage, girl. Keep it about your content, girl. So, girl, if, if we feeling it, we'll let you know. But if we not, we're going to say, uh-uh, uh-uh. Leave it out. We don't care. We'll let you know, niece, right? So, I love the fact that she went on a little nail date or whatever then, lunch. And, baby, wasn't no camera sitting up. We didn't even get no damn shots of the damn food over there, baby. She, hell, she showed her nails. I thought she was by herself, child. That's how it should be, right? Yeah. You know, seeing each other every day. No, I don't think she showed his arm. I don't, girl, I didn't see anything. I didn't. Day, talking on the phone every day, getting to know each other every day, and I appreciate the consistency. I appreciate the fact that I look just like Albert Einstein right now. Girl, uh, Peyton's going to get her hair done. They, you know, they 
her and her daughter are silk press girlies all of us uh, not all of a sudden my bad they are um going to get their hair done she's no longer wearing them wigs she's focusing on her natural hair it looks like her daughter hair done grew out too her daughter has some pretty hair very pretty hair so yeah, they they went and got their their hair done. Now, girl, they're over here at Target. So it's just like a really cute vlog. If you ain't been over there to see it, go check her out, y'all. We're gonna stop sharing right here. Y'all tell uh cha, baby. Y'all see Kyron do uh, y'all see Kyron do the damn hair flip. Okay, girl. I bet you wanna do what Beyonce be doing with their hair flip and then bend down and then swipe come back up the the bending uh snap. I bet you wanna do the bending snap. <laughs> Girl. Oh, somebody said that they saw a small uh snippet of the guy. Y'all nosy. Maybe she wanted to keep him in there though. I don't know. Okay, Pay Good. That's all we want to talk about over there. I watched her vlog also in its entirety and all and things. Yeah, her uh, her daughter's hair is getting long. It's getting longer. It's come a long way. Um, so yeah, that's very cute. Y'all. I know what y'all done brought y'all ass in here for. Now, we talked about Platt. Y'all gonna go over there and watch Platt. Y'all gonna buy y'all buy some perfume, too. Whatever, baby, she done dropped down. And she good. Got me over there, baby. I need to get that damn one. She said, uh, girl, I can't even think of the name of it. Girl, I screenshotted it because, yeah, a purchase is about to be made tonight. Um, Girl, I know what y'all came over here for. What y'all are nosy tail selves. Uh, it's 427 of y'all in here. So, what's the tea? What's going on? It's 427 of y'all in here. Did y'all remember the girl? It's getting crowded in here. It's definitely crowded in the building, girl. I'm 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 seeing the damn crowd. Y'all see how y'all see how damn crowded the kingdom that got round over here. It's crowded. Y'all done brought all y'all little nosy tails. So, hey Colleen. Hey Colleen, girl. Uh Baby, Tay said, maybe don't put good. Tay said, you know what the tea is. I, girl, we go get, you see all these damn nosy people in here? What your, who is this in a damn red shirt right here? Now, what is you doing right there? Y'all standing here fanning y'all said, ain't no more damn oxtails. You hear me? It ain't no more damn oxtails. I'm watching y'all ass. Y'all need to get y'all, y'all need to get it together. Now, I know what y'all came around over here for. I'm going to get to y'all. Don't worry about it. Sure. Uh, baby. Gina Janine's still over here damn windmilling, girl. Oh, God. Baby, Gina Janine's still over here proving a point and they are missing the point altogether. Right? A little matchy match right there. So I was like, and I could wear this with some knee-high boots. Get my little Peggy Bundy on, my little mob wives. Nobody said mob wife aesthetic is in. Nobody said that. Nobody. Uh, Gina Janine is up next to damn bat. Whew. Now, y'all, if you are part of members, we already watched Gina Janine's latest vlog. We watched it over on the member side. We watched it in its damn entirety, girl. We talked about everything over there. So now we over here with y'all, right? <laughs> y'all, one moment. Toya said, we broke again. Toya, don't you, baby, don't you get tired of that? Now, y'all, let me tell y'all like this, girl. First of all, the read that I did last, the read that I did on the last vlog, um, I'm sorry, on my last live was not for the Kingdomonians. The king, my Kingdomonians, we never bother about Gina. We don't, that don't move us when Gina say nothing about a broke. We've been watching Gina, so we know the tea. We don't never fall for the okie doke. We that's Gina's BBBs who be all up her backside, and then Gina go over there shooting strays, and then they feel slighted, right? Because they catch the strays. My kingdom on is we know the tea, we never bother. The read that I gave was not for me nor my kingdom on is because I asked the people in the damn chat that they want. Uh, want the damn Gina Janine, uh, did they want the read notice you? And I went back and looked at a live. Quite a few of my kingdom owners said, My ones that be over in my lives, they was like, No, no, we don't want it, don't we? Can skip because it was some that said, Yeah, can you read that? Was for the BBBs and the ones that felt damn sliding, that wasn't for us. <laughs> I was helping out the ones who be over there and felt slighted and brought their ass over here because they was all of a sudden 
but hurt because Jita said that they asked us to go from there. That's who that was for. That wasn't for me. That wasn't for the kingdom owners. We know the tea. <laughs> we know the damn tea. Uh, baby C Shiver says she raised my pressure. <laughs> Girl, y'all damn Gina. Let me just pull up. Let me pull up the vlog. Y'all, we're going to skip through the vlog, um, girl. Y'all know one thing that I really want Gina to do? I want Gina to actually focus on her content and quit worrying about what the reaction channels and whoever else got to say about her. If you're not bothered, then leave it at that, niece. If you're not bothered, then just leave it at that. Make your content. You don't always have to make your content as a rebuttal to something that a reaction channel or somebody said. These is my. These is our thoughts and our opinion. This is what we think. This is what we think. You may have some reaction. Some people that do commentary on you that be on your side, and you and then. You never show them any type of love, but the ones that be dragging your ass and not really dragging you, but the ones who actually hit you where it hurt and the ones who actually say something and stings because the truth hurts, they're the ones you want to be a girl huffing and puffing and, hey, you broke and middle finger up and, yeah, you're watching my life. What is the tea? Because that's what reaction channels do. That's what commentators do. Yo, I watch your life. Gina, you was in New York. You was in New York for for um, New Year's Eve. Okay, you was working right on New Year's Eve. Okay, like you was on in New York. We was watching your your life, but you was also working. You didn't have time to enjoy the 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 live in the moment, enjoy the time because you had to pick that camera up because you got work to do because you got bills and shit to pay because you know ain't no sugar daddy in sight gonna pay for not a nimmy nimmy thought thought over there. So you better pick that Z one hundred uh Sony CX seventeen camera damn up if you're trying to pay the damn bills over there. You hear me? All we be saying is what you be putting up here, girl. Whew, I just want you to don't if you want to have a good day, don't damn come this way. I get so tired of seeing that. And I want that to be for all her and her diehard BB. Don't come this way. <laughs> Cause then y'all gonna be mad at in y'all feelings, girl. And let's start off damn Gina's vlog. Uh, we gonna move the hell around a little bit. So y'all don't worry about my banner that's up. Yeah. Um, girl, I, why am I not even sharing my screen with y'all? Let me uh share my screen, and then we're gonna start it, girl. Major Mondays are work days. Mondays, I get up and I go. I'm answering a bunch of emails, getting a bunch of work stuff done. Monday sets the tone for the rest of the week. That's why I try to be so productive on Mondays, like wake up, take the kids to school, make my bed up, go to the gym. Uh, just... Gina says she goes to the gym on Mondays. On Mondays only, it's a gym day because that sets the tone for the rest of the damn week. I mean, just talking about the content and what she vlogs, just what she vlogs. I'm not talking about when she put the camera down. This ain't no way. You don't know what she do. You right. So I'm not, I can only speculate. It doesn't really give that Gina goes to the gym on a Monday, right? Because when is this? We don't even know. What was this vlog record? I don't know. I don't, really don't care. Uh, we don't really even know that. You know, so Gina, we don't even know how often Gina goes to the damn gym, right? Gina had a damn face-to-face -face trainer. Uh, then she was just going by herself working out. Then Wolf uh, went down to Houston a couple of, uh, a few times and he helping her work out. And I don't know if it was working out for him or her. He drank beer. He got a dad. But all of the damn things. So then Heidi got into play. Heidi said, good luck. We're going to give you a little bag. Good luck. You promote. She went over there promoting whatever they had going on. And I don't see it for her with promoting that because I don't feel like the, the results. It does not need to be a Gina Janine testimony on that damn uh, co-pilot app over there. We don't need to see a testimony. Uh, we don't need to see any before and any after altered damn pics over there. We don't need to damn see it, right? Gina does not give that she goes to the damn gym every day. And I'm going to tell y'all why it don't give that. Um, Because when Gina vlogs, we see the majority of the shit that she do, right? We see what Gina do. Uh, 
she vlog when did she drop vlogs like every three days or whatever but I don't know. It's a it's a compilation of, of things that she's doing throughout the week. She may take us to the we go what we one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put on some damn athleisure wear, right? We're gonna do that. We don't really be going to the gym like that. If we go into the gym every damn day, we're gonna start to see some damn definition somewhere on our body. You hear me? We gonna start to see some definition somewhere. I'm not talking, I'm talking about what I see. What I see in her vlog, Mimi got 2020, just a natural 2020 uh, vision, baby. Know that my eye, I still got my good eyesight, baby, right? Uh, no definition going on over there. I ain't see no muscle mass, but uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. So that's why I'm saying a gym, okay. I mean, look, if you, if you want to tell the lie, tell the lie, girl. You could say it all you want to. That's not what we see. But I'm going to protect my peace and say, oh, damn, K. I'm um, just go, 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 go. And, of course, I always manage to get a afternoon nap in because, yeah. And uh, then in my neutral bag, I wore all neutrals. Was that yesterday? No, day before yesterday? I think it was day before yesterday. Um sidebar i love gina in these neutral colors and browns and all of that i'm loving seeing her this is her little neutral tone era i love gina who is these somebody's shoes over here chuck why we didn't catch this in members gina whose shoes is these y'all is these gina's shoes y'all look over here to the side because i know y'all knows y'all zoom in y'all y'all get y'all damn devices zoom in take a screenshot zoom in is them somebody's shoes over there Sean, Gina, whose shoes is them? Is them damn uh? Is them a uh, wolf round over there with the kids? Cause I thought we don't bring ninjas to the. <sighs> okay, Gina, I don't care. Baby, that they said that they damn wolf tap dancer shoes. Okay, let's go. And it continues today. Oh God! It stormed all. Why would okay? I don't care today. Let me not say storm, it rained all. These are my new ones from Forever 21. They go too, they got the same undertones, but I just I don't know. I like this one better. Let me show you. Okay, yes, this smells really, really good. Um, so the way Gina damn dressed, Gina going to hang out with them with them, uh, Tanya, in case we because we skip past Tanya, the, the damn uh, the, the, y'all know. Secondhand leggings, that Tanya, y'all know who Tanya is. The one we didn't already stuff. The one that Gina be piling them used clothes in the garage and in the trash bag. And then when she see uh, Tanya, she give her the damn trash bag full of clothes. Huh. What else? Oh, I need rings. I need some jewelry. I'll be right back. Okay, so since we're doing Louis head to toe, I should have worn Louis perfume. I'm tripping. Only $12. Y'all, I will say this. Y'all, I'm not mad at this outfit. I actually love these shades. Gina, Gina, girl, these shades is cute. She got them in like a gold tone and a silver color. Love them, especially love them on her. I love these colors on Gina. Gina's makeup was eating eating ever since gina put down them damn clearance uh dd's makeup and all of that and she kept her ass over to sephora and got the real deal um yeah face has been sitting with me she's doing it right the eyebrows is drawn on right the the wig is cute baby gina was in the houston streets baby looking like a whole big old snack over there you hear me from head to damn toe outfit cute face sitting eyebrows on point yeah, I love this. I love this outfit on Gina because it's a damn Gina outfit. We can go to the damn gym. We could go get drinks. We could go out on a date with damn Prince Hakeem. We could go to damn um, Chick Fil A. We could stop by damn um, um, Mercedes and get them to put this hood emblem on the car. We can go anywhere with this outfit. Depending on where we're going, we can lose the jacket, a couple of braces, uh, uh, yeah, a couple of bracelets, and the damn shades. Depending on where we go, right? It's an all universal damn outfit for Gina, right? 
If we go into the damn gym, we're going to lose all the jewelry that we can take off and take off the damn jacket. And then we're going in the gym to damn walk around these people's damn equipment at the damn gym. If we're going over there to damn, uh, to damn uh, Mercedes to bother them about putting on the damn Amazon hood emblem, we can put the jacket on or we can leave the jacket off. And after that, if we're going over there to meet Prince Hakeem, we definitely going to put the jacket on at first. But then as the liquor kick in, we're going to pull it off because then we're going to be feeling ourselves. So, uh, yeah. So I love it. I mean, I don't mind it. Somebody says she copying Kyra. Well, y'all know Gina is very heavily um, influenced. I don't see anything with her being influenced. I just see a problem with her not uh, showing, not uh, crediting whoever she over there copying. Not saying, yeah, I seen my, my niece, niece Kyra had this on. So, yeah, TT went and copped this. Oh, okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. 12 from Amazon. Be down um, this is the entire say they were this is the entire get up. I love oh, oh god. I didn't catch what why in the hell we got this big ass damn ring on, Gina. Why do we have this ring on though, Gina? You know what? I don't care. Come on, Jim. Just come on. I don't. The outfit was cute. This big ass uh, damn ring on that just pissed me off. I, I knew every time, every time. Gina do this every time, every time. We can't never, this is why we can't never have nothing nice because she messes it up for us. Three ninety nine because I got two pairs. Uh, this jacket is from Halara. This is a sponsorship. She got two pairs of what? Leggings? One for her and one for Tanya? Chum. Or she going to give Tanya? Never mind. I don't care. I want to say the jacket's between 40 and $50. Girl, I th Yo, I thought this was funny. Grip the wood, grind the Let's go. Girl, y'all see the man back there laying on the damn table? Let's rewind it back. Y'all pay attention. Y'all gotta watch. Grip the wood, grind the Let's go. Now, what kind of boy is this? Who, y'all? Who is the ninja led on the depth? Gina, clearly you're overdressed. Where you at, niece? Take off the damn jacket. Clearly, you take off the jacket, niece. You can take off the jacket. You can take off whatever bracelets that could come off, like the Louis Vuitton bracelets. Take off that big ass uh, uh, heart ring. Clearly, you're not in that atmosphere where it's the ninjas with the money. What? <sighs> It's a nap time over here. His his ass hanging out from under. What is going on? Did he have too much? She girl, girl, just Gina, where was you at? Girl, just where was you at? Gina, you had no business here with these. Why do you take yourself to places like that? You don't love yourself. I would say, uh, uh, I'm like, no, uh, uh. Inda said Tanya wasn't feeling herself. She wasn't, or she was. What he say? He said he got good cutty. What? Hold on, y'all. Y'all listen real good, y'all. Back Keisha parked outside. Y'all listen, see what this guy said. Uh, oh, he said he got good credit. <laughs> that ain't he in Houston. That ain't his damn credit. These the, the ninjas in Houston will run a don't try. It's not his credit. It's not. And my mama raised me right. Why y'all be doing? Wait a minute. Let me. Strong black man. I ain't trying to have sex with you. Baby, he said I ain't trying to have sex with you, uh, sir. Sir, Don Travius, stop. The derail. Darrell, stop. You're doing too much. You over here. You done, you done got the damn Casamiga shots flowing. And stop. You spitting all on my... Stop. I ain't trying to have sex with you. Yeah, Gina said, what? What What you mean you're not trying to have sex with me? You, but do you do you not see all this? Do you not see what I got on? What you mean you're not trying to have sex? He said, I ain't trying to have sex with you. Gina is a Gina at this point. She's offended. She's like, and why the hell not? You see what I got on? What you mean you're not trying to have sex with me? Yeah, Don Traver, girl, I don't know. Don Traver's over here is just, sir, shut up. Why would sex be the first thing that comes to mind when you talk to her? 
out of all of that, I ain't trying to have sex with you, sir. <laughs> this is Gina damn Janine. Gina Janine. Sir, go rent you a damn uh, a Porsche, a Bentley, wh whatever, whatever luxury car that you can go around over there and lease, rent for about a couple of days, flash the kid. Sir, just, just dress it up and make it look real good. And then, sir, holla back. Do you hear me? That's all I'm going to say. Some, who said Tanya is a girl? Baby, Tanya, they've been on Tanya damn neck ever since Thomas Tanya said, Y'all need to get y'all a life. Bitch, you need to get you some pants. <laughs> you, know, you look up, tell us about y'all. Is I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Y'all need to get y'all a life. You need to get some damn pants that are your own and not damn genius over here, girl. Network. 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 How is he trying to network? What is he network, girl? You know what? Let me tell y'all right here. Is this where she went to Prospect Prospect Park? Girl, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, that music be so damn loud. It, 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 so much damn liquor flow. It, it, you know, it's too much. I get overstimulated. I can't even be, uh, girl, I can't even sit up here at this bar. I can't do it. Baby Gina trying to record. She got Don Travis and Jaquan. Everybody in the club getting tipped. He over there, that damn chingy in. A uh, uh, girl, the, the ninja in the back going to sleep. You got damn Tanya over here. Keep smiling weirdly at and very creepishly at us in the camera. We still got our shades on. Camera sitting up there on record. It's blinking. The, Don Travis is over here trying to see about some sass that may or may not be happening it's a damn lot you know what uh, call in a damn order for some chicken wings take that shit home girl we got on all the loud then gina dress loud baby all the jewelry loud back Keisha parked outside looking loud. it's a lot like it's whoo child i am tired just from damn commentating i'm damn tired and Gina, I'm low key mad that you wasted a very, very decent outfit and a, a, a very cute made up face to sit around over here and let Don Travis spit on the, the, the damn, what is that, your damn left side of your damn uh, face and neck and tell you he don't want no sass. I'm mad. Gina. Yeah. He girl, he said, Don Travis, you still gotta look a little broke. You still need to look a little broke when you have to. Don Travis, get back, Gina. Gina, where is your damn credit cards? Don Travis done already scanned your shit while it's still in your purse over there. Do you hear me? Why does this guy even feel like he can still sit up here and hold casual conversation with? See what I say? That's why I said that the girl they gonna they gonna they gonna play with you. They gonna play with you. <laughs> girl, Don Travis said, "Hey, what y'all doing later on? Y'all hear him, baby? He trying to make plans for later on. He said, I ain't trying to have sex with you, Don Travis. Cut your ass on." <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Girl, the damn. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, y'all leave. Y'all not finna keep over here damn talking about Tanya. Uh, the girls with the, the TTs was hanging out and about. Tanya, those your jeans? Yeah, them Tanya jeans, because Gina could never. Them damn uh, Tanya jeans over there. Tanya looks, uh, her outfit looks fitting for the occasion. It's cute, casual, nothing wrong with her outfit at all. Uh, girl, Gina. G Gina's outfit is cute. It's still giving. The makeup is still sitting. Y'all, Gina really didn't get on my nerves too much in this vlog. She really didn't. So if I may not be real entertaining for y'all because Gina, she really didn't get on my nerves too much. I don't think, Chomp, I don't know. We have to keep watching. Maybe she did and my ass forgot. Uh, look at the lighting. <laughs> Girl, they said, look at the lighting. Yes. 
Tanya's. Oh, Tanya's wig. Wait a minute. Tanya got the same wig as Gina? They got the same wig? Tanya, she's dressed for the, for the occasion. That's cute. Hey, life with Shamika. <laughs> oh, shit. Denny, uh, Denny, you hate that place? Trump. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> um, Gina has a million friends, right? A hundred friends. What is just... Oh, never mind. Okay. We're at the next spot. Girl, Gina over here at the damn uh, club. Y'all, who she went to the club with? Uh, who Gina went to the strip club with? Do y'all know? Where is Gina? We don't know where Jennifer at. Yeah, them kids, you heard them kids in the background carrying on when Gina was over there uh, damn sanding that damn lo uh, lotion into her arms when she was getting ready. The kids was in the background hollering, carrying on. Chum? Oh, Teddy there? Oh, okay, it's a... Oh. Gina, who is these ninjas? So she in the club was... Hold on, let's see. I thought it was just her and Tanya at the club. So they went and met... Um, uh, life is she tried to come for you. What she said, good tell me, good because girl, she girl, she was over there in the comments. Was, was you the one made the comment about the kids with the daddy all the time and not you? Was that you? Let me know in the comments, good. Uh, in the chat, I mean, um, so who is the Gina? Who is these little kids? I could tell, I could tell by the way these ninjas are standing right here. I can already tell. I, this, this, this some bullshit over here. I'm, I'm finna tell y'all right now. This some bullshit going on right here. I'm, I, I can, I, I can already see that. Mm -mm. Now, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm still, I'm still in the age range where if you want to go to the club, there's nothing wrong with going to the club. But I'm that. Did you get a, did you get a section? I'm in that era. Like, did you get a section? And then I'm also in that era of well, what are we going out for? What is we going to the club for? That that's the era I'm in. I don't see in me, I don't see nothing wrong with her going out like this, especially especially it's not just her and her homegirl, right? You know, it's it's guys there, of course. Um, you know, so evidently the guys is you know footing pay, and paying for every damn thing. Um, yeah, I mean, shoot, I don't see anything really too much wrong with it, but I will say, Gina, there's some bullshit going on because they Gina, who is the guys? Mocha wine, you picked up on it. You picked up on the way he said it. That's the D boy stance, right there. That's the he else bullshit. We, I'm, I'm not staying. I'm going. I'm not finna be here, baby. Gina sitting up up here, sitting on these on the back of these people's sofa, uh, like she been at the damn gym every damn day, every damn day. Like she been over there at the damn gym every damn day, working out, sitting back up there. Um, who Gina? Who was paying for damn um? Who was paying for the, the damn uh, strip? Who was paying? Jen, did you get a damn a dance? Did you pay for a dance? Did you? <sighs> now, Gina, had we have went, uh, if have we have went to like a regular, I don't know if it's a regular nightclub or whatever. We or even like a little, a little hole in the wall, maybe like I don't know. We, we got to have a section. I'm it had. Of course, I have to be going with a gentleman that I know. It has to be a section. Girl, I need the princess package. I'm sitting down. Um, I mean, I don't know. I've never had. I've never had a ninja say, "You want to meet me at the strip club?" I ain't never had that, so I don't know. In a way, that probably could be. I'm gonna tell y'all. Um, I've never had a ninja ask me, "Do I want to go to the strip strip club with him?" Um. But evidently, that's Gina's type of thing. And Gina said, yeah, I'll meet you at the script club. I'll, I'll go up there and I'll pay to uh, see a little bit, go uh, shake it ass, shake it and all of that going on. So if that's what she wanted to, I mean, okay. I'm, girl, I'm not going to wreck my brain trying to figure out why she did it. But we, y'all, hold on, y'all just got a pip. Y'all think she with damn Young Wild Ninja? Do y'all think she with Young Wild Ninja? 
Good. They, Gina, they said this was on MLK night. Gina, how did they know? How did these ninjas know to invite you to the strip club? Because I don't care what nobody say. This, this is a strip club. This ain't no damn after hours, girl. This ain't no after after hour spot is an after hour spot where, where motherfuckers still got their clothes on. And but it may be some wings, some chicken and food and drinking and hookah. It ain't none of this, uh, it ain't none of all of that other stuff going on. So, how did he know to come at you and ask you, did you want to meet him? At that's what I want to know. Huh. <laughs> Girl, who y'all? Who is Gina zooming in on? Oh hell, we missed it. What happened? Good, did it go away? Sure. Hold on, y'all. Let's run it. We're gonna run it back. Uh, Gina, we're gonna come back because we we gotta be nosy. I done muted it, baby, because that meant. I don't know what's going on over there. Uh, so she got invited to the strip club. They hit her up and said, "TT, meet us at the club. We know you." We know you get out. What's that song by um by damn future freak? Uh, never mind. Uh -uh, I ain't gonna say it. Yeah, Mocha, that's what I said. Girl, that's young wild ninja. The one that yeah, that that uh lost cherry Tom Ford. That's him. Y'all, we're gonna pay attention. Y'all, who is she who is she zooming? Oh hell. Why I keep moving? Who was she zooming in on? Do y'all know? Girl, damn. Girl, look at the freeze frame. Where y'all at? Y'all can see. Girl, look at the. Girl, Gina, get your ass out that damn strip club. Like, Gina, get out. Oh, Lord Jesus. I'm gone. I can't. Hi. The girl is in MIA. Miss in action. Have we been going to the gym every it's day? Wednesday. Last time I picked y'all up was... Have we been going to the gym every day? <laughs> Girl. Monday night. Didn't vlog anything yesterday. Um, Gina? <laughs> Gina, have we been going to the gym? We still been going to, to the gym? Gina, I hate the way Gina hangs this damn purse on this doorknob. I abs It's tacky. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Um, Gina, we just said, what we've been doing? Mind our business going to the gym? Okay thing yesterday and here we are wednesday afternoon okay how you there how you there so all of the events are already planned so i'm trying to plan out my outfits and one of them is a color coordinated event okay y'all already know black folks can't get together and not have a color coordinated night did it really happen if we didn't have some color coordination of matching t-shirts you know what i'm saying but anyways, y'all know we get together anyway. It's our way uh, down. But when I turn y'all on, everybody wants to know what Gina's doing. But anyway. Um, okay. Who's everybody? Yeah. Because we see you hanging out with the same three friends. So who's everybody that's hitting you up? Are they calling you on your phone or are they calling you through damn Instagram? I need a garment rack. Because. Girl, y'all peep the closet. Let me just. Hey, they still got tags on them. I ain't worn them in years. Let me. Let's move. Let's move my girl Meg real fast. Gina, this closet looks an absolute mess. This damn closet is horrible. I don't, Gina. What the hell? What is going on over here? I would never wear this color anymore. I need to just make a bag and and do a, another clean. Y'all know I do closet cleaner all the time. Uh, yeah, you back up shit and you give it to Tanya all the damn time while you you and Tanya was over there in that damn uh bathroom at the club talking about this is nice did you uh tell her hey hey real fast i got some more clothes i'm finna throw in a damn trash bag and give them to you did you tell tanya you can't tell because it's still jam-packed but i seen these color leggings and i'm like oh this could go with this shirt right here no that's a good look no no <sighs> who the hell is is, is... <sighs> baby i'm over here stuttering who the hell, Gina, what we don't want to see is you put on, hike up another pair of damn leggings, throw on another um, Versace dupe top, and then blouse, and then tie it up, and put on a damn chain belt. Hold on, y'all. Because do we remember what the hell happened last time that we seen Gina in a damn, hold on, let me see if I got it.
Oh, hell, did my shit freeze? Oh, God, it froze. Okay, y'all, one second. Everything to set over here, chart and froze. Hold on, y'all. Child, not is Okay, y'all. Girl, everything just froze. Y'all, can y'all hear me? Y'all put away in the chat if you can hear me. I got to pull everything back up again. Girl. Hey, Miss Mary. Girl, we got to go down over here and pull up Gina's damn. I tried to call y'all. Y'all be having y'all phones on DN. I tried to call a couple of y'all. Y'all petty. Girl, let me go pull up Gina damn vlog all over again. Gina said, don't be over here watching my shit. That's what happened. I'm going to have to start sliding y'all DMs and telling y'all, good. let the Kingdomonians know. We're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, let me start sharing my screen with y'all. Oh, no. Okay, so I got everything back up where I need. This is what I want to show y'all. Hold on, do y'all remember the last damn time Gina wore a damn chain belt? Do y'all y'all remember? Good. I'm trying to find that picture. Somebody had did somebody send it to me or did I save it? Good. Ain't no damn telling. I could have saved it. Girl. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can find a picture. It may not be over here. Uh that ain't none but the Lord. Don't want me to be ugly. Cause I know I'm sure. Last time we seen Gina in a damn chain belt. Girl. Okay. I don't have a picture. I don't know where the hell it is. Okay, so y'all, let's just continue. Let me pull up Gina's damn vlog. All over again. There we go. Um, she's telling us about this damn outfit that she's saving to damn wear for when she goes to the damn casting of damn mob wives. We don't, I don't know. Let's press play. That's right there. So I was like, and I could wear this with some knee high boots. Get my little Peggy Bundy on, my little mob wives. Y'all know I my 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 dress code every time I went out was a problem. Uh, where the hell did she get Peggy Bundy from? Who's calling her Peggy Bundy? Because I I call uh her boyfriend Al Bundy. So I where she get Peggy Bundy from? I only y'all notice I only started calling him Al Bundy when I found out on the last live that he drinks beer. And y'all know Al didn't play about his beer. So that's where the hell I got Al Bundy from. But now she wants to be down. Peggy, but Gina, stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your quick. Why you why you come over here? Why do you do it? That's so irritating to me. It's so irritating. <laughs> leggings and a chain belt 
I ain't worn that in a minute, but you don't ever need to wear that shit unless it's unless it's damn Halloween or you go into a cosplay or, so, or you go into a costume party or you about to be uh you cast for a mob wives or a damn dirty dancing uh movie theater the, the, uh, on the run, then you don't need to wear that. And it's okay. Y'all look at the y'all look up here. Look at the damn shark boots leaning over back here. Gina don't even take care of her shit right. Who got that? Y'all looking at it? Because why the hell the boots up against this damn wall like this? One leaning over. You ain't even... Gina, you ain't even... She ain't even stuffed the damn boots. She probably don't even have the damn boot... Um, I can't even think of the damn name of that, that thing that you put off into your boot so that the boot can maintain its shape and all of that. Uh... The, Gina, carry your ass over there to Amazon and get you the damn things for your boots. So your boots, what? How in the hell do you flop over Givenchy shark boots? Gina, I don't like those boots. I didn't have the heart to tell you, but I'm gonna tell you now because I, I just, I just gotta be honest. Gina, I don't like the boots. I don't like the boots at all. I don't know. I thought I did, or maybe I just wanted you to have a good birthday when you wore them. I don't like the boots. I'm sorry. I was, no, I'm not. I don't care. Best believe I'll be rocking it with this. Okay? Don't wear that. Don't you dare wear that. Do you hear me? Don't wear that. You've been warned about wearing that, and you've been told not to damn wear that. Gina, wherever you were going to wear that to, damn dumb. A little matchy match right there. So I was like, and I could wear this with some knee high boots. Get my little Peggy Bundy on, my little mob wives. Nobody said mob wife aesthetic is in. Nobody said that. Nobody. A little matchy match right there. So oh, Gina, don't damn do it. I still got the good. I still got the gritty up. Good. Let me take a uh, friend damn uh, grandma down from here. Good, cause what this lady? Cause she already had her moment. Sure. Let's continue, y'all. While I take, I gotta take I grandma down. But anyways, I was just showing y'all this. I need to get the one that has five hooks, really. And Gina, that's tacky too. Oh, my floor. To me, this is a chaotic mess. To others, it might not even be that bad. But look. That's horrible. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It is horrible. Gina's closet is, is kind of small for all of her clothes, right? Um, yeah, I think at this point she should have like why is her closet that small? Okay, I don't I don't care. Um, she should actually have like a room or a showcasing for all of her shoes. And Gina, I thought we was taking a damn loaf, so I thought we was taking a Pee Wee Herman's back. No, you gonna keep them? Okay. Um, yeah, Gina, you don't have a shoe rack or anything. You over there putting up the, the damn um the fire marshal bill boots up there on the damn shelf right next to your purses and oh it's just tech i don't like it i don't like it i'm finna go i don't like it jenna it's horrible this pile of clothes right here is clothes that need to get tailored in that bag that's clothes that need to get tailored why are why are they on the floor and you see how you have a big ass pile of clothes that need to be tailored you can't fit them stop buying say so then look y'all when was jenna's damn birthday Look, look back here at the shirt that it still ain't went to the damn, the shirt still ain't went to the damn cleaners back there. What have you been doing? That little pile right there. That's clothes I need to. Okay, this is the shirt that I wore on my birthday. Was it almost two months ago? Yeah, almost uh, two months ago and it's still on the floor. Okay. Go to the cleaners. This pile right here was outfits that I made around my birthday, y'all. Some Givenchy stuff. I wanted to wear the Givenchy t-shirt with the Givenchy scarf. I'm so Lord, there is a Lord. Whoo, I am so glad Tacky Kathy did not wear that Givenchy shirt with this scarf. I am so glad. Lord, there is a heaven. I am really I didn't even know that she could get tackier. I had no clue. Why on earth would you put, and how would you wear that scarf? How would you wear the scarf? Would you go around there and see how maybe Chelsea or Leah's face wore their scarves and then you would, how would you wear it? 
Why would you wear that just because they're all Javon? And then was you gonna throw on the damn fire marshal bill boots? Because what the hell was going I'm so glad you didn't wear that, Gina. Put that up. Don't wear keep the pieces. That's fine. Keep them. Don't wear them together. And don't you dare tie that scarf around your neck. Like you driving a 1965 uh, Impala with the top down. Don't do it. You don't even know how you going to wear the scarf. And then this brown one right here, I said I would wear this with my red boots and red hat. Anyway, that's been sitting there since my birthday. I call the radio. <laughs> Jerry, I call the radio. Girl, I say I would say all kinds of stuff. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> it's if it's fitting. If I said it, that's her damn name. This is a uh, two outfit options for Por Porsche's color coordinated night. Why are they on the floor? What is it? What's in the closet? Is that a coffee table? <laughs> is that one of them little stools? But you know, then this is the option I just had in my hand for uh some, for the event. That she How you just pick out clothes that you're gonna wear and then just throw them on the floor and then you decide if that's who does that? She got going on Sunday. Yeah, this is Gina. The people said you're dirty. Gina's not, uh, y'all. Gina, she's not dirty at all. I don't think she is. Gina's just um tacky, very uncouth. Uh, she don't have uh, she needs she don't really know. She don't know, y'all. She she's just very oblivious. She don't know. She thinks all this is cool. She's real country. She just don't know. Gina, I told y'all Keisha's Ottman is in the no game room. I told y'all. This is my floor. A miss. A miss. A miss. It is, but it's, it's okay, Gina. That I'm giving away. Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, where you at? She she kicking down these damn sweatpants. She finna give to you while your ass was over there uh body uh, body rocking in that mirror with her night before. She kicking these damn sweatpants for you. Come get them good. That I, I like wide leg sweatpants, not tight sweatpants anymore. So I didn't have the tag on these. I don't probably have these by five years. Look. Jen thought that then the pants saved me them. Jen throw the pants away. Five years, five years. You look completely different from head to damn ankle from what you did five damn years ago. Why would you keep clothes that long? I mean, are you gonna are you gonna try to fit the damn mediums eventually? They're only five ninety nine. Give the shit to Tanya. Five ninety nine for some uh, Forever Twenty One sweatpants and that medium. Baby, ain't nothing on this rotunda and thighs and medium no more. So. Have y'all noticed how Gina been over there, baby? She She's making sure that she calls out the fact that she's gained weight. Because Gina been places she don't need to be. And people is probably saying stuff, but girl, you need to pull back from the damn table. Dr. Now said, girl, don't come bothering him. Dr. Now said, don't you come over there because he told you. Now, all of a sudden, Gina going to beat people to the punch by saying, girl, I'm big. Y'all know I like to eat. A big mama this and big mama. Oh, Jenny says she's going to beat y'all to the punch calling out her flaws. Yeah, that's 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 going in a bag. So that's what I'm doing. I'm planning out potential outfits for the weekend because y'all know I'm always running late. I'm the late friend. And if I plan in advance, it will help me. We came in and reaped her head. But anyway, my phone ringing. Bye, y'all. I was laying in bed. I took them off and just tossed them on the ground. How would it be in my luggage? Like, it makes no sense. My luggage was in the vicinity. Oh, those shades were... I thought these shades were cute. Version. Yeah, these is cute on you, too. I like them, Gina. These is cute on you, too, girl. Real cute. This is the black and silver version, if you didn't know. They had that. They do, okay? Mm. Baby, somebody said, so Tanya Pond is overflow. All my designer sunglasses have been color thing dust. Like, let's be real. I think I need more. A little bungee. Uh, Gina's uh, yeah. Gina's shopping more. Gina's over here buying more shit that's gonna wind up on the damn floor. Gina buying all these damn co uh, coats. We in damn Houston. You don't need coats like that, Gina. Gina, I can't see you wearing no damn hard shell shoes like this because the girl, they look like they'll be hurting your feet. Uh, don't don't do it, niece. That's just like wearing damn Air Force Ones. I don't see it for you. Oh, I love it. Texas shit. Yep. Yeah. Girl, let's move fast forward. Let's Just out the forward. gate. Wear this as a shirt. Because it has gift. 
with her gift receipt in here. She got Tanya. Somebody, like, I mean, not Tanya. She got what's the girl named Portia again? Like gift? this, if you don't like the color, you don't like the style, you don't like it. Period. Baby, take it back and get something that you're actually gonna wear. Whether that. Uh, some, let's move forward. Whatever, whatever. It is. Lunch. Run a couple errands. Get a car wash. Basic stuff. Nothing major. Taking myself on a date. <laughs> So y'all see I'm at the Cheesecake Factory for lunch. I ordered a few of the lunch specials. Um, so we'll be having a lot of to-go items because I can't eat all this. But hopefully they're small portions. I think they are. I think lunch stuff is usually like small portions. But anyway, I'm not that hungry. Anyway, y'all, first of all, I got my license plate. I am officially official. No more paper tags. Um, I just got that like 30 minutes before this, but before that, y'all, I got pulled over by a police officer. I wanted to pick y'all up, but I'm like, you know what? Okay. In the climate that we're in, I don't think that would be smart, so I'm not going to do it. But, um, yeah, I got pulled over. He said, you ran a stop sign. And I'm like, no way, no how. No, I did not. And I saw you and I stopped because I thought you were going to turn. You paused and waited, so I put on my turn signal and turn. Oh, okay. He was like, no, not that one, a, a different one. Okay. I really feel like people see a black person in an ultra luxury car uh -huh. and they just automatically assume. Did, did, he, ca he caught you pulling out of the damn Ross or damn Dollar Tree parking lot and from there on he follows you? Okay. That the car probably can't be theirs. I could be wrong, but that's my theory. When I'm driving slow, I know I stopped at the stop sign, but you still pull me over. I think they want to pull you over to see if they can smell weed in the car, have a reason to search you if you seem nervous. Maybe they'll find drugs in the car. Uh, Gina, first of all, Gina, now you said you, you aspire to be a drug dealer's wife. You said you aspire to be a... That's what you aspire to be, right? Or mob wife, my bad, excuse me. Uh, but you don't really be knowing anything. Can you tell me why they, why H-E double hockey sticks with a drug dealer be driving a May a Maybach uh, and why he would have a paraphernalia, all of the things in the damn car in Houston of all places? Why would you be driving a flashy, flashy car, smoking your whatever, your marijuana in the car, all of the things, right? And had your little pack here or the in the floorboards and all of the Gina. Oh, baby, Gina works my damn nerves. Gina, no D-boy in his right mind is going to be having that much motion in an ultra, like you quote unquote from what you said, an ultra luxury car. They're going to be in a damn 2000 Honda Accord, a 97 Toyota Camry, a damn a Ford Escort, a Ford Escort. They don't even make those no more, girl. They might be in a damn Nissan, but it can't be no brand new one. They're not going to be in a, in a Maybach. They ain't going to be in a damn Bakisha over there. They're not going to be in no damn Porsche. They ain't even really going to be in no damn Range Rover. Oh, Gina, why must I teach you everything? I'm, I'm tired, niece. I'm really tired. We need you to wake up. It's giving the lifestyle storyline that you came on here trying to sell for us we weren't buying and your tea is still getting clocked. It's given you've been lying to the YouTube screets since you started vlogging, but okay, go off. And I honestly feel like they just think that how was this person, how was this their car? You know, so. What do you mean, how was this? Your, Gina act like she the only one to drive a damn back Keisha over there. Gina act like she's the only, how is this your car? What they mean, how is it your car? One thing that the Houston people, baby, it's going to be some scams ran. It's going to be, you, they, it is nothing to pull up at a damn traffic light and see a damn Bentley parked to your damn, uh, at, to your right and a damn Maserati, uh, the truck to your damn left. It's nothing. It's normal. It's very much so normal. Oh, Lord. Okay, Gina. Girl, 
But your shit over there looked like a damn hearse. The man probably thought, me, wait a minute, what's going on? Huh? Um, he let me off with a warning, of course. Why did it even have to be a warning? You didn't do anything wrong. And get to the good part. Because I wasn't doing that. That's just annoying. Very annoying. I keep getting my days confused. I don't know why I keep thinking today is Wednesday. I just got the phone with Drea. She was like, all right, girl, I'm going to see you tomorrow. And why are you always on the phone with just your damn co-workers? You have 1,800 friends. Why are you always on the phone with your same... Your same uh, uh, girl, I don't want to say low vibrational <laughs> with your same uh, co-workers who really don't really be having too much going. Why you be on the phone with them? Them not really. They, you talk to the same. They don't even have nothing popping. They can't even give you no news. You can. They can't even give you no damn YouTube news you can use. Like what the hell? How do you correlate with them, and how does that match up? I don't even, it'd be the same one, same draw. They, some of them ain't even got them 10K, so they ain't even got them 5K, not even 20K. How do y'all say, is it just, is, I'm not, it got to be just a damn work, uh, working relationship going on over there, right? It got to be. You can't really be taking it too much too serious over there. I know when y'all get together, when you get, on, get together with your coworkers, I know y'all don't be over there talking about YouTube. I know y'all can't be talking about YouTube work and all of the things because y'all don't know what the hell to tell each other. They can't give you no news you can use and you don't know what the hell to tell them. All y'all can do is talk about the damn cameras that y'all use. That's it. Whew. I'm like, tomorrow? She was like, yeah, for dinner. I'm like, oh yeah, tomorrow is Friday. I keep thinking tomorrow's Thursday and today is Wednesday. Jenny, the people said, where is damn Regina the Range Rover? Y'all, Regina the Range Rover is still over there with the damn OBGYN. I done told y'all. And I was rushing oh. out the house to bring Ethan lunch. Mm. He had asked me earlier. He was like, can you bring me some lunch? And I told him, I was like, you know, I'll let you know if I make it. I got to let the cleaning crew in. So anyway. Baby, she said, I'll let you know. I made out the house. With 15 minutes to spare, I get pulled over. He used that whole 15 minutes. And just to give me a warning. Oh, so he. Jada. Yo, this damn Jada is funny. Jada, Jada said, I don't know what to tell you. Jada. Sunny Love said. Ah, Sunny Love says she's picking out on three plates of food. <laughs> Gina said, well, you, you SOL today, my boy. You SOL today, Gina said. <laughs> Get it back in blood. I don't know what to tell you. Go to the cafeteria. See what they got going on over there. Baby, Gina said, up. Oh, you know, I made it. I let the cleaning crew in, but mm -hmm, yep, I got 15 minutes. I'll make it. I make it. Oh, yeah. I just got Gina. Did you really get <laughs> Gina? Did you really get pulled over, niece? Did the people really pull you over, niece? That's what we. <laughs> Gina said, uh uh. Uh uh. Girl, Gina still managed to carry her ass to damn Cheesecake Factory. And get her three damn entrees over there. Now, y'all, granted, we don't know. Gina probably took the little boy lunch uh, after she got done eating. I don't know what his lunch time is. I really don't know. Maybe she did go up to the school and took him something to eat. Uh, and she didn't film it. We don't know, right? I don't even know that she said any damn thing on camera about her going to take the baby some food. Did she? Did anyone actually watch this vlog without skipping through? And did she say, "Oh yeah, y'all, I went and took, um, I went and took my baby some food afterward"? Did she even say anything about that, or was it just no? Just uh, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Who? Well, she said she was going to uh, vlog, but she said she just didn't. She said because of the climate that we're living in with the police officers and all that. So she said she didn't. Um, okay, Gina. Okay. Okay. Oh, she didn't take the baby no food? 
Regina. I low key be trying to windmill for just just a little bit, not too much, but I low key. But then I, every time I windmill, I come back and hit myself with the forehead. I be trying to help you. I promise. I'm gonna stop eating all this bread. Cause like I always. Baby, Jaquan said, "Go, go, go. y'all know what y'all ain't right." Oh, Lord. Judah said, "Go to the vending machine, my boy." <laughs> Girl, girl, Gina said, y'all, look at all this food. Gina, did the baby have food? Y'all, maybe he can, of course, he's at school, so he got access to food, right? Uh, but he probably didn't want what was on the menu or whatever, however it may be. So, I don't know. Gina will have to, G, don't worry. Gina will come back in another damn vlog and she'll explain this little fiasco right here. Y'all, don't worry. So this is called Renee's chicken. You know what, Angel? Maybe you're right. Maybe that's why she got three meals so she can give them to the kids. That's true. That's another theory. Salad with chicken soup. The salad. Okay. The beasting pizza. Okay, the pizza looks like it has pepperoni and sausage. So Gina now eats pork and beef again. Okay. And then the uh, I don't care to watch Gina eat on camera. Let's go. But nonetheless, the tag was still popped today. And I can't believe within a Okay, what else do I need to do? Can I go to Target and just spend some unnecessary money? That is so damn boring. Or should I just say screw it and go back home? No, my cleaning crew is still there. Dang it. Y'all know I don't I don't really address any mix. Okay, y'all. So y'all y'all let me know. Maybe I can Google it. Maybe it's on Wikipedia or something. I don't know. Mm. I just got. Hey, Melissa. Released the video today, and I'm just reading. Uh, now nah, see Lopez. She said she popped the tag. She had just put that shirt on. It was Somebody brand new. wrote underneath a comment. Mm -hmm. Does she know she's a mother? Her kids are always with their dad, and then the laughing emoji. Mm -hmm. Was this you? The girl in my comment said that Gina. Who? Where's the girl that was in my comments who said that Gina? Um. Got some more with her on her comments. Is this was is this you? What was the girl name? I forgot. She came over here and said it. Oh shoot. Maybe she'll comment back and let us know. Oh, well, I reply. Gina said, hold on while I reply. Gina finna come up with a stupid ass rebuttal. Y'all already know what time. Y'all already know how Gina give it up. It's funny that that just came through. I y'all know I First of all, this, this is the thing. None of the comments it, it, it can come through, Gina. You got to approve the comments and push them through and all of that. If that's how she has a comment section set up, I don't know. Maybe she don't. Maybe just everything just come through and she go back and read and delete and all of that. Hey, Planet Mimi. I don't I don't really address any negative like comments or whatever because... Gina addresses all of the negative comments. So Y'all want to know how she addresses them? Via her vlogs, right? Um, she indirectly addresses whatever been talked about over here, whatever been talked about over on Love Lies and Lace Fronts. She addressing that because Love Lies with Lace Fronts will give her a classy drag as well. Mine's is uh, mine's is not. My drag is not classy, but she'll give a, a classy. She'll get a drag from me and Love Lies and Lace Fronts, right? Um, Gina will come back and address our commentary and she'll do it via her next vlog. When she come back, that that's when she get to being all angry, being real cocky on camera. That's when she gets to call coming back calling people broke. And that's when she gets to come back saying, I, I washed my ass for all y'all that's concerned. Mm, I washed my ass. That's when she, she'll get real passive aggressive with it, right? That's how she so she does address the negative comments, but she does it like that. So I don't even know why she's sitting her ass up here lying. Negative comments are so small in a pool full of positive comments. They are so few and far between. So if you get way more positive uh, comments than negative, how the hell you even see the negative comments? Let's say you got 500 comments and out of 500, only 10 of them are negative. How the hell you see the negative ass comments? And then why do you take your time to respond to the negative comments? Because people in her comment section, I've seen it. They said, hey, why are you only responding to the negative comments? You never you never respond back to us or you never blah, 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 blah. She wants to respond to all the negative. You want to know why? Because the truth hurts and all the all damn commentary and the shit that we be over here saying is staying that ass. That's why. 
that is just like, why? Why address it? Well, when people bring up my kids, that's usually when I respond back. You know. Gina responds back not only when the people be reading her kids, she responds back when people um maybe say things about when they say things about her spending, her her stupid ass choices that she makes, uh with about her copying other content creators, which nothing's wrong with that, but give them their credit. Uh when she makes stupid comments, statements, all of it. So it's not she she responds to everything negative. It don't even have to be about nothing about the damn kids because nobody had even been talking about the kids because for her to come back over here and call everybody damn broke. Nobody even said nothing about the damn kids for her to upload a vlog and say broke people. Y'all watching me live my life. That's why I'm saying, Gina, go back and watch your commentary, your vlog, and then you'll have all your car facts. But you know how we can really save time? Is we could just go get you that damn notebook and you could write down all your damn lies in there. Because for you to say the kids are always with their dad with the laughing emojis. For one, my kids are with their dad every other weekend. Not every. When are the kids with you? When are the kids with you? They're with their dad every other weekend. When, which weekend are you with your kids? That's it. Every weekend, every other weekend. I have said this in many of videos. Their dad lives almost an hour away from me. Okay. So he will never have them during the school week. Um, pause, lies. Hasn't he had them during the school week? Um, think about this. Last year when Gina came up on here at the top of the year in 2023 and she said, I'm not going to be taking any trips during the school year, right? I'm not going to be doing that, right? And then here we come trickling down to the damn year. She didn't hooked up with them. Shot that and left. She didn't hooked up with Wolf and she's going on 10 day damn uh, excursions and all of that, right? Um, She's even called him. It's in her one of her vlogs, her travel. She's even, yeah, to ask the kids, dad, you know, I'm going to stay an extra day. Do you think you could take them to school? Take them to school. I'm going to damn a text to my damn neighbor, see if my neighbor could pick them up from school and they hang out with the neighbor house and I pick them up from damn there. Even when it is your weekend, some weekends, Gina, have not been spent with them. We know you went to Austin one weekend when it was your weekend because you had Byron stay at home with the kids. It was also another weekend, but not only on top for that when it is your weekend you are in the damn houston streets and the kids is at home we know that because they got sick of your ass one time and they locked your ass out and you carried your ass back over to the damn jennifer's house and that's when you said that you had got the most the best sleep ever over at jennifer's how the hell could you get your best sleep ever over at somebody else's house knowing that your kids is at home by them damn selves how could you get your best sleep ever are you kidding me Ever. I have them during the school week year round, okay, because he's an hour away. That man don't want to drive an hour in the morning and then an hour again in the afternoon. Well, second of all, the baby daddy is on damn payroll. The baby daddy over there, the, the, the girl, shut up, Gina. We don't even care. And picked him up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He don't do that. Has he done it for me a few times here and there? Of course he has. A few times, a few times. So now you're going to diminish and downplay all the damn uh, times he's come He's come to bat for you because you were being irresponsible, right? But to say my kids are always with their dad, isn't that a good thing? Why the laughing emojis? The laughing emojis is because of you. She didn't say anything about that's a bad thing that they're with their dad. He's an active father. I think the, the person who made that comment was saying you should be as active of a mom as he is as a dad because on camera, you bring it, you make it seem to your viewers you always bigging up the dad and saying the kids are with the dad the kids are with the, i have the best dad i have the best baby daddy ever he never tells me no if i need him to get the kids he'll get the kids all this you make it seem like he's really putting in the effort and he's really pulling his weight and your weight so she's saying that y'all aren't matching co-parent energy over there that's what she's saying thank you melissa i appreciate that so much thank you for the super sticker 
That's what she's saying, Gina. She's saying you aren't matching his co-parent energy. She's not laughing because he's with because the kids are with their dad. He's doing his part and your part too. She's laughing because you're not doing your part. Yeah, the kids is at your house. They under your they're under your roof. You're feeding. They're there with you. They're at the they're just, they're there. You still going to go out and do what you want to do, whether it's a weekend holiday, you still going to go do whether you want to go to the store by yourself. You don't want to take them with you to the store or you want to meet Tanya for drinks and y'all going to an after hours. You out till four o'clock in the morning and you come. That's what the girl that I believe that that's what the comment, the person that made that comment was saying. Do you know how many women would kill for their for the father of their child to acknowledge their child. Gina, do you not know how many women are married to the father of their child? So they don't even have to deal with this. Don't be sitting over here acting like you got the best damn situation in the world because really you don't. Honestly and truly, really the hell you don't. Because if you did, you would have never had to put the man on child support years back. And if you honestly did... Then when you got whatever child support check that they uploaded on that card last year, you would have turned around and gave it to him. Some women are married to their baby, to their baby daddies. That's their husband. Some of them even have good, have better co-parenting relationships than yours. This world so fucked up, y'all. This this world. No, the world. The, okay, the world could be messed up, but you are part of it too because you let that comment go right over your head, and you want to know why? Because you got in your feelings about it. Because you know the truth hurts, and you know it's stung. And if you was really, really smart, you wouldn't be damn bothered by. It. But because you know that whoever made that comment, low key hit a sore spot. So now you up here being very much so passive aggressive. It's so fucked up. People like that. I just wonder how was your 2023? Who cares? Who cares about how anybody damn 2023? What the hell does that have to? How was yours? You went on 23 damn trips. You cried when you went on a damn escapade with damn wolf, super sit at one of your co-workers damn ex for 10 damn days. You cried when you had to return home to your damn kids. How was your 2023? How was your damn year? Someone who's crying because they have to return home to their safe haven, their home. You cried. You cried. How was your 2023? You tell us that. How was your twin? Who you don't know that woman who made that comment? Her life could be way better than yours. You really need to stop judging your viewers and subscribers. They are not beneath you. You are really not doing nothing that people have not seen, or you're not living any kind of way that millions of people are not living. That what what that woman's damn 2023 got to do with your kids? Still, your kids are even if let's say that the comp, the person made the comment, let's say her 2023 was shitty. Okay, fine. Your kids were still with their dad 90% of the time. The facts still remain. So what the hell are we talking about? How's your 2024 gonna go? If you think that that's how's your 2024 gonna go? <laughs> we tune the hell in because this is giving shit show over here. We tune in and never mind damn 2023 and 20. How the hell was your damn 2015 uh, through 2019? That's what the hell we want to know. Since you love to clock and uh, try to clock other people's teeth, never mind all of this. Never mind. How was your damn 2015 through 2019? That's what the hell we want to know. It's funny that they have an active father. and that my It's funny that you are not as active of a mother. You're not even going over there to AAU games. When the little girl had the uh, basketball game out of state or whatever, and her and her dad were going to fly wherever they was going, you didn't even want to get on the plane and go. Even when they were driving to whatever other city in Texas, you didn't even want to go then. You didn't even want to go then. My kids are always with their dad. Okay, so what do we? What the hell are we talking about then? You just sat up here and said that the kids are always with their daddy. You just said it. So why the hell are you sitting up here getting all hot and bothered and in your damn feelings over here looking clueless? You just said out of your mouth, the kids is always what they did. What the hell? Let me rewind it back in case I missed something. Year round, okay? Because he's an hour away. 
That man don't want to drive an hour in the morning and then an hour again in the afternoon and pick them up back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. He don't do that. Has he done it for me a few times here and there? Of course he has. But to say my kids are always with their dad, isn't that a good thing? Why the laughing emoji? Ah! You know how many women would... Gina, that was so funny. She said, why the laughing emojis? <laughs> kill for their for the father of their child to acknowledge their child. This world so fucked up, y'all. This, this world is so fucked up. People like that, I just wonder, how was your 2023? Ah! How was your 2024 gonna go? If you think that that's funny, that they have an active father and that my kids are always with their dad, that is a motherfucking blessing, bitch. Okay. Ah! A blessing. Y'all know she mad. Y'all know she mad. Y'all know she mad. She said, bitch. Ooh. Listen, I have friends who their baby daddies don't see their kids. I have friends with shitty baby daddy. Tanya, she talking to you? Jennifer, she talking to you? Who is she talking to? G One thing Gina going to do, Gina loves to tell her friends. Gina, you, you really make it sound like you have some of the most horrible ass friends and that your life is so much better than theirs. Do you have any friends with normal lives? Do you have any friends who are actually are, are wives or married or have any anything? Of, you never really tell any good things about your damn friends. Gina, y'all co-parenting a relationship is really not that damn spectacular. It is some people who have amazing co-parenting relationships. They, they, the father of their kids could be uh, they are married, and the mom gets along great with with the wife, and they can all get together and all celebrate holidays together, and they all come together and be one for the kids. And all you, you're doing normal shit. This is normal. What you're doing is very much so normal. It's really not doing, it's, who the hell is impressed? That's what the hell I want to know. I have friends that are like, how, how are you and your kid's father so close, so tight? Um, who, which friends? Jennifer, she talking to you? Which friends is over there telling her, I want, I want to have a relationship like you and your baby daddy, but I can't because my baby daddy don't play that shit. He not finna let me run over him and he not finna let me leave the kids with him for 10 damn days while I'm going to my ass somewhere and stretch my long cat up on the damn back of a damn mule. Okay. What we have is rare. Obviously. Gina said what they have is rare. Okay. It's okay. Me. And for someone to think it's funny to make a joke out of it it's just odd to me it's funny because she's because you're not as active as he is Jenny you over here working my damn nerves Jenny you let that lady's comment go right the hell over your head and you want to know why because you're guilty you are guilty because you know that you're lacking in some type of way and it's coming off on camera the same way you stuffed them damn Christmas stockings at 8 p.m. on Christmas damn night. The way you go to damn basketball practices and you sit in the parking lot the same way you don't go when they go to other um, locations and other cities or states to play AAU. The, sa the same way it's the girl just struck a nerve with you. She really just struck a damn nerve with you. And you mad. Just say it. Well, you don't have to say you mad, but just take that as a grain of salt and do better. That's all. Just do better. It's a blessing. I, I don't take it for granted. That's you shouldn't take it for granted. And it's very good in the kids... For the kids, it works out in their benefit because they have a dad that's going to go above and beyond because he probably knows if I don't do it, it ain't the hell going to get done. Why buy his ass? Birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, Father's Day gifts, because he's an amazing father. I guess she was trying to be like, oh, her kids are never with her. My kids ain't always with me on camera, baby, but they're here Monday through Friday, okay. Saturday and Sunday, except for the other Saturdays and Sundays when it's their dad's weekend. My older son was just here yesterday. He wasn't on camera. I don't pick out pick up the camera. Do we care? No one said, and no one said nothing about uh, uh, the grown Byron. She didn't say nothing about grown Byron, but I'm pretty sure that she finna tell you the same damn thing went for Byron too. He was always with his daddy. She finna tell on herself again. We gonna watch it. Every time and put it in my kids' faces. Like, I just don't. So I don't know. 
I'm just saying that because I have seen other comments too over the years of people saying, why are your kids always with their dad? <laughs> why not? He's their father. I'm yeah. raising a daughter and a son with him. Why would they not always be with him? Uh, what? Wait a minute. She, G <laughs> Gina is an idiot. Gina said, I'm raising a son and a daughter. Why would they not? So Gina just said that the kids are always with the dad. She says she's raising a son and a daughter. Never mind that sh her as a mom should be there, should show up even more for her daughter. So you can, you know, show her how to be a young lady and, you know, all of that, have that, that mother daughter bond and all of that. Never mind. She said, why shouldn't they always be with, they, with their dad? He's their dad. Oh, God, Gina. We already know that they're with, oh, God, baby. One thing Gina going to do. Gina gonna miss the damn point all the damn time. She gonna always miss the point and she gonna always dress tacky. Okay. I don't know what your always is, even though they're with me 90% of the time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, okay. Baby, when I tell you my damn head hurt. So now the kids is with you 90% of the time. Where are we getting that? Because you just said that the kids was always with the daddy. You said, why shouldn't they be with him all the time? They his. But now you over here saying that they went you 90. Where'd you get the 90% from? Because the girl in your damn comments said 90%. So now you throwing out 90%. So, huh? <laughs> so what? Take the what and leave the what? Oh, niece. Gina, you should, you should really think before you don't even respond to comments like that, Gina. Just don't do it. Because then you wanted to record yourself and include this in your vlog and think you ate? No, niece. You ate earlier at damn Cheesecake Factory when you had them damn three damn entrees. And you probably had a couple of slices of old nasty cheesecake off a of camera. Sure. But I don't know why people just look at that as a bad thing. It is a blessing. Uh, she didn't say... <laughs> She didn't say it was a bad thing. Hello, is it? Hold on. Is you, Gina? Are you in here? Is any of damn Gina's BBBs in here? The commenter never said it was a bad thing that you hot and bothered, stroking this wig, shifting around, scrunching up your face. She never said it was a bad thing. She said the kids are with their dad 90% of the time. Laugh out loud emoji. Who said it's a bad thing? Where did you get that from? Now you over here huffing and puffing, getting big in your chest, and you trying to read the girl, and you really just proved her point even more. Sure that I have a 100% active father. Child, I just had to get her together real quick. <laughs> Gina said, I had to get that bitch together. You hear me, Gina? I'm not mad at you, niece. <laughs> Gina said, I had to get her together. Okay, okay. I'm hey, do what you do what you need. If you feel like you got her together, Gina, I'm telling you right now. And BBBs, because I know y'all love to come up here. Don't send her any clips of this. Don't send her any clips of me proving her point, proving that she did not make a point. Don't do it. Cause then she's gonna have a bad day. If Gina felt like she ate and she read the girl down, leave it at that. We don't care. We all, the 732 of y'all in here, y'all all know the point that the girl was trying to make. The commenter never said it was a bad thing. Gina in, uh, just assumed it was a bad thing because in the back of her mind, she thinks it is a horrible thing, girl. Just leave. She don't need no clips. No, Y'all just don't do it. Y'all gonna, gonna mess up the girl's damn day. Nicely, of course. But it's just... I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've heard people say in the comments, not heard, I'm saying heard, like I can hear y'all. And now people say in the comments, like, well, if he's such a great father, why you ain't with him? Well, Gina, no one cares. Shut Bye, Gina. She's saying that <laughs> I have an active father and that my kids always with him. You ain't feel dumb when you wrote that out. I'll be like, baby. 
Chow, chow, chow. That's why my favorite line. When people say, Gina, how you look so young? And how you stay so stress-free? Oh, she says my water. And I mind my business. We hardly ever see drink Gina drink water on camera. And Gina never minds her business. Gina minds the kingdom's business. Gina minds love, love, love lies and lace fronts business. Gina minds shade room business. Gina minds Hollywood unlock business. Gina um, uh, minds a uh, world star hip hop. Gina uh, minds Ari Fletcher business, light skin Keisha business, SZA business, Usher business, uh, the baddies West business, Krishan business. Gina minds everyone's damn business do you hear me gina be quiet just just stop because baby when you loud and wrong oh girl i missed this other part hold on y'all it does leather shrink up girl i think i missed it not he's their father we just gotta watch it i'm raising a daughter and a son with him why would they not always be with him i don't know what your always is even though they're with me. Being in a relationship with somebody and parenting is two totally different things, baby boo. <laughs> like, and the fact that you would even put those two together. Girl, Gina says she minds her business. Something wrong with you. Girl. <laughs> so, Gina. But anyway, huh? yes, it is a blessing that I have two amazing baby daddies. Okay. Both of them. Even though my oldest son is 25. Child, he is the same as uh, how Ethan National dad was. Has been there since day one. Okay. Has was in Byron's life. Gina, niece, just so you know, that's for, niece. It's okay. That's normal. That's normal. Not every uh, not every child is fatherless. That's normal, niece. That to me, that that's normal. So, so uh, quite probably your viewers, that's normal. It's probably abnormal for your wretched friends who you run around the city with, but it's it's normal. From day one, got him every other weekend from day one. Well, not maybe not day one. Oh, maybe wait. He was about a year old, you know. Uh, clock the T. Uh, Gina says she had Byron when she was, what, 15? Uh, so when Byron was uh, one, Gina was 16, and she said that's when they started the damn uh, custody um, agreement to where he get Byron every other weekend. Even though she was a teenager, she was able to enter into a damn agreement slash contract uh, with the baby daddy where he get the baby every other weekend. Huh? Okay. Because I wouldn't. Me and him was obviously still together, and I wasn't dropping him off by himself over at his dad's house. But once we broke up, when Byron was like around two. Okay, so now, okay, so now were they at two? So at one, he was picking the little boy up every other weekend, but at two. So, cause she, her and his, so this is the thing. Gina was about the 12, 13, 14 when she had Byron, right? Uh, the, the, the girl, so her and the baby daddy was together. Byron was one. She was still with the baby daddy, but he was picking up the little boy every other weekend, right? Uh, then, uh, Byron turned two, her and the baby daddy broke up. He was already still picking up the baby every other damn weekend because he probably already knew they was going to break up. Uh, Gina, how old was your other baby daddy? How was the first baby daddy? Huh? Y'all, she said, because they was together. Y'all was together? How in the hell would you know? Gina, you were a child. How could you quote unquote be together? How could you quote unquote be together with, with you already, you was already a mama. Hell, you got your name on on someone's birth certificate, then you got to go up here to the damn uh, junior high and get your damn schedule for the first day of school. You got the, the schedule in one hand, your son birth certificate in your other hand, and you're trying to balance a damn relationship? Huh? All of that, niece. You telling me all of that is what's going on? Okay, Gina. Oh, <sighs> child. You know, then he was getting by every other weekend. But yeah, y'all, folks is weird. Gina said, baby, he was getting them every other day. Child, Gina, we, we at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. If you're going to tell us a story, then you tell us right now. We all know Gina said she helped the little boy at 15. Y'all know how Mimi just, girl, I'll just be being funny, girl. Put, I'll be, girl, I'll be putting a little, uh, 
girl an extra flavor and pizzazz on my commentary, y'all. We already know that Gina was probably 15 when she had the little boy, all of the things. What I'm saying is the point that she said, the, the time frame's not adding up. Did y'all break up when he was one or two? And why the hell do we need to even have this conversation? Because the girl was talking about now. Now, right now, this here, right here, right here. This is what the girl over there talking, the commenter was talking about, girl. That's what she's saying. 90% of the time, your last two. We're not talking about your adult kid. But now you want to tell us that you was, that th this been your type of carrying on. You've been a drop them off and pick them up every other weekend type of mama. Okay. Well, good, Gina. We don't care. Well, I'll be reading some, some comments sometimes. I'll be like, what made you hit send on that? You didn't feel dumb type. What made you respond on camera and then edit and upload this vlog and put this out here for us to see? Because you knew Mimi was going to come over here and tear it apart. Sure. Stepping this out and hitting send. You might feel dumb putting out a laughing emoji saying that <laughs> I have an active father. More than that was because uh, I, I want to show y'all this and we're going to get up out of here. Someone just. Uh, I'm going to show y'all this. Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm going through my hairstylist Instagram, and I'm trying to find a hairstyle. I have in my head what I want, but I want to get something fun, because my last few hairstyles from her have been fun. Like, the last one was a half up, half down, and then twice I've gotten the braids in the front. I moved them, Kenya. The so, it's like, I kind of want something I almost feel some kind of I way moved the toy, okay. you relax. Sure. Why am I not featured on your page? Because you be doing your thing with my hair. And she takes so many photos and videos of me every time, but I'm not on her page. Uh maybe you don't fit the aesthetic, Gina. Maybe she's maybe it, it whatever type of maybe she's trying to attract a certain type of audience, Gina. We don't know. I mean, maybe. Uh, what the why, why does it matter? Sure. Um Ooh. Look at that curtain bang. Oh, oh, all of a sudden curtain bang. Now we now it's curtain bang now. All of a sudden. Okay, Gina. This wig style is so ugly. It reminds me if anybody knows, uh for if you're from that well, you don't have to be from Dallas. You may just Erica Banks. If anybody knows the little rap girl Erica Banks, this is an Erica Banks damn wig right here. I absolutely hate it. This actually reminds me of my last one with the half up, up half down. It kind of reminds me of that. This is pretty. Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine Gina with this hairstyle right here with this big chunky braid? And can y'all imagine Gina with this hairstyle? Can you imagine it? Okay. Can y'all imagine your <laughs> y'all just imagine it? Just let's just it's like the girl. Okay, Gina. It, Gina, you are gonna tear that braid apart. And then you're gonna be trying to braid it back together, and then it's not gonna be braided right. So you just gonna unravel it and just blend it in with the rest of your hair over there, Gina. Oh, bless her heart. I don't know, y'all. Let's I wonder if she could do this. Uh, Pete, Gina said, I wonder if she could do this. Y'all peep this. Gina wants to know if her hairstylist could do this. Mind you, this is her hairstylist Instagram up here, certified touch. That's her Instagram, right? The girl is showcasing her work right on her Instagram. So Gina says she wonder if she could do this. Why are you wondering? She's showcasing. She just did it. It's on her page. This is one of her clients. This is her wall back here. Uh, at her salon, Gina. <laughs> Gina, what the hell's going on over there? She can do it, niece. It's on her damn page. What are we talking about? Why? Sure. I think I might ask her to do this. Because in my head, I was going to do a side part. 
But Gina finna get another damn basic ass hairstyle. Y'all, we don't care. Uh, what I came on here to show y'all is Gina ripped that wig off. She washed and conditioned her damn hair. And she didn't give us a damn length check. You know, Gina loves to give us a damn natural. Uh, she loves to tell, give us an update on her natural, how long it is. And it's down here to the top of my butt crack. Oh, she didn't give us a length check. So, Gina, why didn't we get a length check on your um, natural hair? Did you not have time? Did you at least record it? And then are you going to make a reel out of it or however was you going to be? Gina, the people are saying that you should have got a French roll, niece. I'm going to tell you, Gina, they wanted you to get a French roll with maybe some damn uh, ocean waves in the damn front, right? Uh, that's what they wanted you to do. Gina, what happened to you getting that damn slick ponytail? I want to see you get a slick ponytail, Gina, just for damn entertainment purposes. I just want to see how it's going to look, right? Let's see what else Gina got going on before we head the hell up out of here. Uh, nothing. Look like over here, baby. Gina is over here. Got these kids over here at the end. And we ain't got time for that. Whew. Y'all, let me run these commercials for y'all. Gina cat her ass over here trying to read somebody in her comments. Gina, if you're going to read them, read them right good. Some of your BBBs, they come to my comment section. Girl, I be having fun with them for a little while. And then I be like, nah, I don't care. So Gina, I definitely know what you mean, but if you're going to read somebody, um, do it right. Like, know what you're talking about. You gotta read them, niece. You gotta read them, like, girl. Like, y'all in a damn library. You got to throw the book at them, or they gonna keep playing on your top. You at least gotta pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell is that? I'm gonna take your comment out. Who is that, Letty Pat? Don't be over here giving her no damn ideas. Because then she's going to go do it. Now, I said that before, and I took it back, girl, because I didn't want her to chop. Gina, one of King Demonians said that you could get that damn 360 lace ponytail, Gina. You don't know what it is? Google it. Gina, you need to download Pinterest. Let's continue with the commercials. You at least got to pull yourself up to the next step. Yes. <laughs> Here. Now, grab the pole. Grab the pole. Yeah. Now, pull your leg up to the next step. Gina, pull your damn leg up to the next step. Next time you get ready to read them people over there on your channel. Pack, backpack, backpack, backpack. Ankle swole, I'm out of control. I don't know when I'm going home. Backpack, 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 backpack. Knee is swole and my ankle too, and my hip is leaving soon. I see it's a whole lot of y'all in here just standing around fanning yourself. Y'all know we getting ready to wrap up the damn uh, live. We finna get ready to go, y'all. <laughs> y'all, how many people is in here? We have seven, 721 of y'all brought y'all nosy asses over here. We talked about Platinum D, baby, and she was telling the girls, putting the girls onto the T with the damn um, perfumes and everything that they needed to buy. Uh, Peyton is dating. We don't know if we're going to actually get to meet the guy on camera because y'all know we nosy over here, so we may not get to, which that's all fine and dandy, right? Then we watched Gina's vlog and we wrapped it up with her. So y'all, that is my time for tonight. I appreciate all of y'all coming over here and spending Friday with me. I appreciate it so, so, so much y'all on your way out don't forget to throw the thumbs up don't forget to like the live to all of my new subbies welcome to the kingdom i hope y'all love it here to all of my returning subs y'all thanks for the love y'all like it love it sub it use your magnes drop down in the comments and hold on y'all drop down in the comments and mimi is definitely going to chop it up with y'all on the next one also some of y'all be um y'all go back and watch the live immediately after it has already um after we just played it or whatever give it a little time because um youtube don't be loading up the live chat so just wait a little bit in the live chat or pick back up y'all but anyway that's my time for the night y'all thank y'all so much i appreciate y'all and i'll chop it up with y'all on the next one and all the people who come to my comments to say this is so negative all you do is comment and critique it's a commentary channel you dummy like how are you dumb all you do is is commentary and talk about other channels you ding 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 you got it you got it
I'm gonna do whatever content I want to do. If you don't like it, you just don't like it. You'll get over it. You don't run nothing over here, sis. 